Welcome back to my Colorado mountain garden and it's time to prune my oregano which is perfect timing because I'm going to make some pizza sauce and some spaghetti sauce for the next couple nights and um, as you can see this was planted on 223. I filled it most of the way up with my potting soil mix that I do with compost and the rest was seed starting mix. Then I put the seeds on top of the seed starting mix and, and lightly covered them, kept it moist. I did it in this container versus small containers because it just saves me a step of up potting. Oregano is pretty easy to grow. Um, most people prefer not to eat the stem part because it's woody. Now at this stage, this is so new. This is everything soft. The stems aren't woody yet. So when I cut it up for my stuff, um, some of it I'm going to take the leaves off for when I put it on top of my pizza. Um, but if it's going into the sauce, I'll probably just chop up the um, stems and all with it. Now, when you prune your oregano, you don't necessarily want to prune the whole thing. But once my oregano gets big, I prune it pretty hard. And this I will probably end up splitting and putting it in two different pots and I have most of my herbs in my hoop house. I what I do normally grow them on my deck also but this year we're going to be ripping the deck apart so I'm not making small containers for the deck this year. Everything's going to be out probably in the hoop house. Oregano helps deter cabbage beetles and not cabbage beetles, cabbage moths and cucumber beetles and my cucumbers and my cabbage will also be in the hoop house. Um, it is susceptible to spider mites and aphids but if you keep an eye on it I use um, the amazing Dr. Zymes if I see any problems then I'll go ahead and spray it. Uh, other than that right now it's getting watered from the bottom it'll be on a dripper system in the hoop house and the morning before I cut any of my herbs back, I usually give them a light spray with the hose to kind of spray off the dust and everything like that. Or if it's pine pollen season here in Colorado, um, you know, you get all that pine pollen on it. So you want to clean it up. And again, I'm not going to take this whole plant. I'm going to take part of it, um, mostly along the sides here. And I think you can see that I'm just using my little scissors here that have been sterilized. And I'm just going to start cutting back. And it's pretty forgiving. You can cut right at the node here if you wanted to, if you just wanted a little bit. But I want to get some of this stuff off the sides. Then in a week or so, I'm going to come back and start trimming off even more um, and storing it. I may freeze dry it. Uh... Let's get some of these taller ones. And you want to keep your oregano cut because you don't want it to flower. So that's the thing. That's why you prune it. If you prune it, you'll have it all summer long. If you're in the house, if you have it in the house, you can keep growing it over and over again. It, herbs don't need too much um, fertilizer. But if, when they're in small containers like this, yes, you got to fertilize. And if some of this falls down, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll have plenty more. So we'll give it a little while to recuperate. And I'll come back again. But I don't need a ton for what I'm going to be doing. So we're just going to take some more of this side here. That's all I do. It gets ugly, but it, oregano grows pretty fast. So next time I come in, I'm going to take off like this stuff, leave where I cut. And you can pretty much tell. Um, it's not hard to tell where it's at. And let me just push this back. And that's going to be plenty for what I need. If I need a little more for my pizza tomorrow night for the top part, not in the sauce, then I'll trim off a little bit more and put some fresh oregano on top of that pizza before I cook it. Hope you're having a wonderful day.
happy gardening and I hope to be back a little bit later to do a video on the peppers that I pruned, the three jalapenos, and show you where they're at now.